Welcome to the Oculus Go setup tutorial. In this training, we'll show you how to unbox your new headset, set it up properly, and give you an introduction into how to use our online store. Let's jump right into it. First, examine the contents of your new purchase. Each Go should come with a headset mounted display, power brick charger, glasses spacer, USB charger cable, user guide, cleaning cloth, controller, a battery, and lanyard for the controller. While you don't need a smartphone every time you use the device, you will need one for the initial setup. To begin, download the Oculus smartphone app from either the Google Play or Apple iTunes Store. Once downloaded, open the app and you should see a login screen. You can create a brand new Oculus account or sign in easily through your Facebook account. We recommend logging in through Facebook because it's required for certain apps. But remember, nothing you do on Oculus will get posted to your Facebook without your permission. Even that. Let's log in and the app will take us to the privacy settings screen. Here we can edit different settings, such as who can see your activity on Oculus, who can see your friend list, and more. Once you're done, hit complete and we'll continue on to pairing your app to the headset. Click Start Now on the app, and the app will prompt you to briefly hold the power button down to turn the headset on and to plug it into the charger. Now, pair your headset to your device by selecting the serial number that corresponds to your headset. You can find your device serial number here, on the left side of the headset. Once you've paired the app to the device, the app will automatically search for a Wi-Fi network. Select your network and enter a passcode if necessary. Now, follow the on-screen instructions to put the battery in the controller. A tiny light should pop up at the top of the controller's trackpad. Hold the Oculus button and back button on the controller until the light stops blinking. If this is done properly, you'll be prompted to select which hand you want to use the controller with. If you're having trouble pairing the controller, remove the battery and repeat the previous step. The next screen will prompt you to set up a payment method for purchasing apps and games. Although you don't need to enter a payment method to browse the store, we'd recommend you set it up just to get it out of the way. Remember, you can always use the app to make changes to your payment method at any time. Once that step is complete, you will see a menu with some useful information on it. This information comes straight from the official Oculus support website, which you can reference online anytime you like. To summarize the support articles, I'll give you a brief overview about how to care and maintain your Oculus Go. The inside of the Oculus Go headset and the straps can be cleaned with non-abrasive antibacterial wipes. Make sure not to use alcohol or an abrasive cleaning solution. Good as new. Here's a pro tip. Direct sunlight hitting the lens can permanently damage the lenses and screen inside the headset. Do not place the device near windows and make sure no direct sunlight hits the lenses of the headset. If you wish to wear glasses while using the Oculus Go, make sure the width of your glasses is 142 millimeters or less and the height is 50 millimeters or less. Modifying the headset to be compatible with glasses is easy. Gently remove the lens rings first and then the facial interface foam. Now, insert the eyeglass spacer so that the glasses logo is towards the top of your headset. Press it into place. Reinsert the facial interface foam and gently press the lens rings back until they click. That's all you need to wear the Go headset with glasses. Now, we're almost ready to jump into VR, but here are some tips on how to properly wear your headset. Your headset will go to sleep unless this sensor here on the inside is being covered. That's how the device knows you're wearing it. To put on the headset, simply slip the straps on from back to front. You can adjust the top or side straps like so to fit your head. If the picture in VR looks blurry, adjust the straps until the headset is resting in a comfortable position and the picture is clear. Now it's time to download some experiences and get started. Once you're in VR, you'll be able to see the Explore menu, where we feature content recommended for you, or select Store to see all the games and apps. Once you download an app, you can access it anytime in your library section. You can also use your mobile phone to download content to your account. 
we recommend downloading a bunch of free apps and a couple paid apps to get started. And make sure to check out the Events tab, where you can join live experiences in VR via Oculus Venues. Some other experiences we'd recommend are Oculus Browser, Oculus Rooms, and Oculus TV. Using the Oculus Go, you'll be able to hang out and play games with friends, watch TV, and even browse the internet in VR. And that's your unboxing tutorial. Start exploring, and we'll see you in virtual reality.